puffer teeth never stop growing. This presents a problem because if the teeth grow too large, they will prevent the fish from opening its mouth, resulting in starvation. Some foods such as snails and certain shrimp when fed to your puffers may help to prevent this overgrowth, but when these foods are not available or are not included in their diet, home dentistry is the answer. The materials needed to perform this dentistry include a pair of powder-free latex gloves, two very clean large glass dishes, two gallons of water from the aquarium in which the puffer is currently living, a new one-gallon Ziploc bag, clean cuticle clippers, a new eyedropper or syringe, and clove oil, also called eugenol. Eugenol may be purchased in this form from your local drugstore. It may be found in the tooth care aisle and costs about $7. Arrange the glass bowls on a clean counter. Pour three cups of aquarium water into the Ziploc bag. Carefully place three drops of eugenol into this water. Close the bag tightly and mix the eugenol until it is completely dispersed in the water. Pour the solution into the first clean glass bowl. Carefully place the puffer to be treated into this eugenol solution. Within about one minute, the puffer will become semi-conscious and will stop swimming and turn on its side or back. Wearing rubber gloves to protect the puffer, gently remove the fish from the bowl and hold it in an appropriate position in which to be treated. Using a pair of sharp, very clean cuticle clippers, roll back the upper lip of the puffer and snip off the upper tooth. It should have the consistency of fingernail. Make sure to trim it so that you do not cut down into the plate itself, but just remove the tooth surface growing from the plate. Be very careful not to cut the puffer's lip. Do the same thing for the lower tooth. Place the treated puffer into a second clean glass bowl which contains at least two quarts of untreated aquarium water. Watch to make sure the puffer is breathing. Its gill cover should be opening and closing, meaning it's moving water over its gills to breathe. After a minute or two, the puffer should begin to swim, at first erratically, then more typically in the water. At this point, gently net the puffer and return it to the aquarium. Once back in the aquarium, briefly observe the puffer to ensure it's recovered completely. As eugenol can be cumulative if used often, this procedure should not be done more than once per year. Given the growth rate of the puffer's teeth, a once per year treatment should be sufficient. If you wish, investigate purchasing a chemical called FinQuil or methane sulfonate, MS-22. This chemical is more expensive and less available than eugenol but it has been reported to be less cumulative over the long term.